Good evening. Um, this is a quick review, unboxing review of the uh, Umarex HK MP5. Um, this is the 177 steel BB gun. Uh, it is classed as an air weapon. Consequently, um, it, it's in a different class to a, an air soft gun, which is somewhat bizarre as you can walk into a shop and buy one of these whereas for a an airsoft gun you have to be either a member of a airsoft club and prove that or you have to be uh, involved in doing reenactments um everything i've read about this says it's a, a pretty realistic gun before we go any further i'm doing this on my mobile phone i haven't got my camcorder here so please no funny comments about shaky cameraman i'm doing the best i can with one hand Right, let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. Destructions. That would appear to be an end plate. I'll come to that shortly. Magazine, that feels quite heavy. Plastic. Picatinny rail. Four screws and an Allen key. Um, I've no idea what they're for at the moment. And sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. The PS de la Resistance. Oh, yeah, that's quite a folding stock. Iron sight. retractable and lockable and I understand that's the, the blowback so apparently this thing moves no fully auto semi and safety so it'll only fire as fast as you can pull the trigger for grip I like that let's turn it over let's have a look at the folding stop I'm sorry about me sniffing. It feels... It feels plastic. But apparently it does have a lot of metal bits. It doesn't feel cheap plastic, but it's plastic. Now the... I've just... The, the, to fold the stock bike, which from what I've gathered off YouTube, that's what you have to do to charge this gas up as the gas goes in the back. And it's just answered what this is for. This piece fits on here so that if you don't want to have the folding stock, you can simply remove it and just use it as a, a small pistol machine gun, if you will, as opposed to one with a, a stock. Uh, you sort of move the stock up or down like that. There we go spring loaded and then it'll fold up and when it's folded as you can see it does stay in that position via its own free will doesn't feel bad i'm assuming that's where the loader ah now then up there i can tell you that i can see steel i can also see plastic but it does look like the internals appear to be at least of some steel construction so i'm guessing that the magazine will lock into there somehow um, i have no idea how you load this it's quite weighty but it's not uncomfortable to hold with one hand uh, reasonable amount of force to pull the trigger not excessive reasonable i'm down well, if it fires that quick on semi-auto, I'll be happy with that. Apparently, there is a video on YouTube of somebody doing this, making one fully auto. Everything I've read suggests it can't be done. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll assemble it. I'm going to put the rail on the top. I'll have a quick look at the destruction manual, which appears to be reasonably good quality. Um, and I'll come back in a few minutes when I've got a little bit more information. Okay, um, I was right about this 
this end piece I'll try and show this here okay there are two two pins here I'll put the original plate back on um, very simple actually this I must admit okay I'm just going to move the box. It'll make life easier. Nothing else in it. Okay. There are two pins. There's one here. There's one here. On the other side of the gun, if you open the stock and push that one and push the top one and then just turn the gun over and just pull them out and they stop there the handle drops off there at the top in there sorry you can't see that obviously just in there that's where the gas cylinder goes and then you attach the whichever end piece you want whether you want the one with the butt stock on or not push those pins closed they snap and lock back into place they are sprung and there you go there's the gun without the stock now you can't load the gas cylinder unless you fold the stock over which is really no no massive problem but there we go so you can use it just like that or you can have it with the folding stock I'll see which I prefer I will probably prefer the one with the with the stock loading I have absolutely no idea how you do this so if you'll just excuse me for five minutes again I'm just going to put a gas cylinder in, I'll, I'll do that on the video and I'm just going to see how to load the weapon up. Um, the shop I've bought this from, a um, place called Solware in Tamworth, has very very kindly, so I thought I'd give them a plug, has given me some free BBs and an enormous quantity of gas cartridges for which I'm very very grateful. Um, good guys, good set of guys, so Solware in Tamworth, thank you very much indeed. I'll be back in a few minutes when I know how to load this thing. Okay, loading it's actually quite simple. There's a spring catch on here. Can you see I've loaded a few BBs in there already? 41 rounds, you simply pull that down to the bottom and the BBs just drop into the top. I do take a little bit of pressure to push in. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show you this, unfortunately, with, with one hand, um, but... They just push into that, just into the gap at the top there. So I shall go and load it up with BBs. I shall be back in a moment. Okay. Fully loaded magazine. Now if I understand my guns correctly. into place like that so that's now loaded so cartridge I'm going to put the folding stock back on as I prefer it so push push at the other side simply pull them out like so and you can lift it off take your gas cartridge and that fits in just like that there we go there's the gas cylinder with the uh, flat end down you are supposed to put a drop of oil on the end of it but i haven't got any at the moment so we'll just have to forego that folding stock back on like so lock those back into place 
sorry, I'll just have to put that down while I load this one back in because it's being awkward. There's a screw here that you turn. I don't know whether you heard, heard that hiss then. You tighten that, that punctures the CO2 cartridge. I'm just struggling to, to put this final pin back in, so I'm just going to put the camera down just while I attempt to, to rectify that little problem. Which is proving to be quite difficult. don't know why that's not fitting in properly but for the moment we'll lock it in we'll see how it goes put the safety on when the safety's on so as I understand that is now ready to fire let's go and see what happens There's my nice custom target there. I know you can't see this very well. There we go. Fires quite nicely.